Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. Doing a very quick video before my lunch break ends. Because I feel like it. Um, so there was a, a thread on Twitter that I found. And uh, it's referring to uh, Joe Biden's proposed pandemic team that he's going to hire 12 people or something like that. Is that biblical or something? The 12, the 12 disciples? Ah. Um, tell me to hunker down, motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being, being weird. Um, so that's actually, so he, he proposed uh, this new pandemic team with this list of people that he wants to get you know, when he, if he starts office, you know, as far as, you know, who never know what's going on with this election and shit. And, uh, I don't, I don't even know. I give up. I don't, I don't support either Trump or Biden. So really, if there's something positive, I'll report it. If there's something negative, I'll report it, you know, because I, I do not like either one. So, but I'm nuanced about that. Anyways, so there is a Twitter, uh, a guy that, a doctor that I follow on Twitter professor, PhD, whatever. He's actually mapping the uh, genome of COVID. Um, Anti-lockdowns, pretty much, uh, has very detailed, um, nuanced discussions with people. Supports opening the schools, blah, blah, blah. You know, looks into the mask thing in a lot more depth than most people do on, on either side. This, And who I'm speaking of is Francois Ballou, the B-A-L-L-O-U-X. Um, he's a professor. He was actually on uh, Unheard, which is a you know channel if you want to look at a lot of people that are skeptical about lockdowns and stuff. I've mentioned in a previous video. So he actually gave a sort of tentative thumbs up to Biden's pandemic team that is proposed. Now I think there are a few people on the team that are pretty uh, uh, on the doomster side, quote unquote. Um, however, I think. If he's given the thumbs up for a lot of these people, that is a good sign because this guy is definitely against a lot of this shit. Um, he's kind of had to play kind of a, you know, he's kind of had to tiptoe around a lot of the stuff because you know he doesn't want. I think he's he's more. He's more. He's he actually this guy Francois Doctor Francois Blue is actually compared the pandemic to the '57 and uh, '68 flu outbreaks, which is an interesting perspective to have. Of course, you know. If you say that to someone, they think you're a you're a cold idiot, you know. But so this is important that he actually gives a kind of a thumbs up to the pandemic team that Biden is Biden is proposing, which is really fucking weird in the in the scheme of things. But you know, it just proves that a lot of this is about politics and all this bullshit. Um, that is actually promising and encouraging that he gave the thumbs up because. For one, I agree. There's, you know, there's some good things. Okay, so there's more people. Obviously, you have the, you had Fauci and you had the scarf lady and the guy that looks like one of the guitarists from Kansas, the CDC guy or whatever, Redfield or whatever. The, <laughs> he looks a little like from the 70s. Um, you had them like in charge of everything. It's just like, eh, that's not good. But if you have more people, more people's opinions, you know, you can try to, and that could create more bureaucracy and more tyranny too, of course. But to me, it's a good thing to have more diverse voices on the team. I think they should add, you know, some of the people of the Great Barrington Declaration, though, too. I mean, that would be the ultimate faux pas, faux pas for Biden to do that. And if, I don't think he will, but, you know, that would be amazing to have. I mean, obviously, Scott Atlas is controversial. I don't think, maybe not him, but, you know, someone like uh, Ionitis, is that his name? Baloo himself, even though he's, I think he's in England, um, someone like, uh, Sinatra Gupta, you know, could advise, you know, or someone like that, you know, or some of the, some of the Stanford, like, people, like, uh, Bachara and some of the other people. Of course, they're not going to add those people, but it does look better than you would think, and there's one, there's one other thing about that, well, my lunch break is almost over, I gotta get back on calls pretty soon, but, um, uh, there's one other thing is that if Fauci is not on the team, that is a great thing. And my opposition of Fauci is because of his his arrogance and his backtrack and his hypocrisy and his not his ability not to really discern 
you know, the changes that happen in a, in a public manner. I've, I've talked about this at length. I don't, I don't like Fauci. After the Rand Paul exchange, I don't like him at all anymore. Having some fresh faces in there, people, will help. Um, I hope he does not retain Fauci. He probably will. But Fauci's pretty fucking old, so who knows? Maybe Fauci will... Well, he's well, he's only one year older than... Or a couple years older than Biden. But if, if it actually goes well, I hope it goes well. I hope there's some sanity in that in that team because the team is seems to me to be a lot larger than uh trump's team as far as his, his core team and i'm not sure how the team works but if francois Ballou is uh is giving the thumbs up i don't know the backgrounds of all these people but francois Ballou, i trust him with his judgment so it's actually really encouraging that he, if he gives a thumbs up to this. Now, I could, we could all be wrong. These people could be fucking totally like, mask mandates for 10 years and during every flow season too. Like they could be more crazy and shit than we know. Who knows? I mean, it could go one way or the other. But um, I've heard some rumors too, and I don't know if this is some right wing just bullshit, but... There was something about how they're going to start counting deaths differently, like, um, with Biden, like how it's going to be counted as with the, with COVID thing is going to go away or something like not with COVID as far as like, if you get stuff from COVID and then die, uh, you know, that's, that's still a, that's still like a comorbidity, you know, if you get pneumonia from having COVID, you know, or whatever, or, you know, heart condition from it. I mean, like, people that actually are, you know, already on death's door, and then they have COVID, and it just pushes them really over the edge. Maybe they'll differentiate between those two. I don't know if this is true. It's a weird rumor. I don't know why someone would suggest that. But, anyways, that's about all. Um, I think, I hope, you know, some sanity prevails. I think having a more diverse, diverse voices on a team in general is a good thing. You could, if you had Osterholm and Fauci and Burks we'd probably be on a, in a lockdown, national lockdown for 20 years or some shit, you know, <laughs> I mean, that would suck, so, it's, it's encouraging that it's not as bad as I expected, I'll just say that, if Francois Ballou is, is, uh, um, is giving him th sort of thumbs up, kind of, I, I think he's pretty much giving a thumbs up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the, I'm still gonna watch, the, look at the Twitter threads about that, because that's really interesting that he thinks some of these people are, are actually saying that, are, are actually saying, saying, not saying, saying that are going to be on his team. So that's all.